Alright, so this is just a quick video to explain how to bzip um, your servers, your Gary's Mod servers content that you might want to have your clients download so that they don't have to download so much information. So I've got bzip2 right here. Uh, you don't have to have the folder on your desktop. It'll work in any place on your computer. Uh, just open it up. I'll include a zipped version of this folder right here that includes this library and the executable so that you can have the exact same thing that I've got here, but be sure to extract it first. <clears throat> so we've got the application here, and like I said, this will work anywhere, not just in a folder on the desktop. And we've got our maps right here. You can see that they're all between 10 and 16 megs. Uh, just out of curiosity, let's see how big they are right now. So they're 121 megabytes right now, all of them together. And all that we have to do to compress these is to drag them onto bzip2, the executable, and it will open them. And as you can see over here, it is replacing all of these files with the compressed version, the .bz2 version of that file. And you can already tell that they're a lot smaller. If I'm remembering correctly, before it was about 120 megs for all of them, and now it's a third of that, it's 45 megs. So you can, you can see that this is something that you really want to do, at least with larger files like maps. Now all that you have to do is open up your FTP or SFTP, whatever you use on your web host, and upload these files to the corresponding directory in your fast download. Now this assumes that your Gary's Mod server's download URL, URL is set properly in the server CFG file. Um, that this video will not cover how to do that, but if that directory, that web directory is set properly for your download URL and you're uploading these to that, then as long as the files are in corresponding directories, say these files would be in the Gary's Mod maps folder, you would put these in the FastDL's maps folder and you do the same thing for materials or models or whatever you had you would have to compress and you would just drag and drop it into the corresponding directory on your web host and assuming that your Gary's Mod server has you know the Lua files using the resource add file function to add the files to the download list. I think it does this automatically with maps, but for materials and such, you'll need to add a resource add file um, call on that particular file to get it to download to the client. But that is also something that is not going to be covered in this video. This is just to get you to see how you can manually compress uh, server content using bzip2 and then upload it to a web server. If you have any questions, leave a comment and let us know. Thanks.